Come on in, Ray. Hey, brother Egberto. Hermano yeah, Ray, hope. talk to me. Como estas? Yeah, man. I had something on my mind. I, I'm hoping I don't take you into the weeds, but I only have a, a minute to talk. Okay, go so ahead. What a, what I wanted to give you is the magic school bus theory that I have. Okay. Miss Frizzle had a magic school bus. She was a teacher, mm -hmm. and she could take her children on field trips. And I just say that to say Miss Frizzle always had one specific thing. She said, take chances, get messy, and make mistakes. And what this pandemic had taught me is that there are some of us in life who kind of get to navigate like they're on that magic school bus, mm -hmm. but then there are some of us who don't have the privilege of being able to take chances, get messy, and make mistakes, which a lot of them were made. You know, that is a prescient statement. And, you know, the first time you talk about the opportunity to make a mistake, right? Uh, it reminded me of football coaches that aren't white. There's a skit that was put out by, uh, I don't remember the name of the comedian, Uh, and he said he moved into a neighborhood with dentists and doctors and lawyers, etc. And he said, you know, um, I just want the opportunity to be able to fail and not lose my life for having a failure. Let's look at the NFL as an example, but we can look at it in, in the medical fields and everywhere else. And I could tell you a story that occurred to me that I'm writing about in, in the books that I've written as being a person of color in, engin in the engineering field. But um, it goes like where um, a coach, uh, it, 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 a lot of times if you have a person of color who's a coach, and I notice I'm not just saying black coach, just person of color is a coach, they get, they get one chance to succeed. And if they immediately fail, they don't get any other chances. And what, what this comedian, Chris Rock, was trying to say is, I want the opportunity to fail and not have the stresses to know that if I fail this one time, uh, you know, it's over for me. Uh, you know, when I was, I never forgot, when I worked for a particular Absolutely. company in this city, um, I came in and the four of the five products that company released was a product, products that I wrote in PLM and assembly and all of that. And we wrote operating systems and all of that for them. And, and I mean, it was great. Uh, we did some projects for Transco that was to take uh, a year, did it in a month. That kind of a thing is the kind of performance I'm talking about. And I remember one time, every time you create a product, you have to send it to QA, quality assurance, right? And that's the purpose of quality assurance, to find any bugs that you may have in your software that runs the equipment. And it turned out that my, before my wife was my wife, uh, we worked at the same company. And um, uh, she was a secretary downstairs. I was upstairs in, in engineering. And she called sort of in a panic because of all the whisper rumors she was hearing in the background. And it turned out that when my thing, this particular product went to QA, there was one bug that I had in the software that gave the wrong results, right? And which is what they're supposed to do, catch whatever bugs that the software engineer right. did. But instead of me finding out from QA that I, there was a bug in the particular software, there was a whispering campaign going over. Guess who had a bug in the software? Like, like bugs weren't ever found before, right? Guess who had bugs in the software? And, and the rumor mail got to my wife and she called up and it's like, hey, what happened? I, had, I didn't have a clue what was going on. But it was like the first failure that I had at the company was a humongous issue, right? Something that was, right. a, a, was, for, was a minor if then else kind of a deal that I needed to change in the application. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.